What is up guys, I'm here with FBL week 3 a coverage, the first game I'm gonna bring you is for uh, Sun and Moon Ubers, Astounded vs Pokeaim, uh, the score is 2-0 for Alpha Runas vs Wi-Fi Wolfpack, um, ABR's on Blunder's team is playing with his Pokeaim's team, it's like pretty exciting series, I don't know much about Ubers, I will do my best to narrate this, um, I will pause it and be right back when the match starts here then. So we are here with uh, Pokeaim vs Astounded. Let me click on the lobby chat. Wait, the lobby's away. How the fuck do I get the chat back? I clicked on it, but it disappeared. Okay, for some reason, for some reason, my uh, Firefox is trolling me. I cannot open the battle and the chat at the same time. Hey. Um. Nice, nice Lumala on a standard side. That thing is getting thumbnail. Dude, TK, do, <laughs> tell me something about the match. Is that like lead? Is it lead frostless? I don't even have the match open. I'm gonna leave call real soon. Okay, it's lead frostless. You, you, you take this game. Gets up a spike. All right, all right. What is this? Here, here's Volta. my prediction, right? Aim gets fucking throttled because he's bad. This is like <laughs> stop. This is like a solve the Valta. That's my prediction. TK out. So he's go going to make a Gengar here. Um. Damn, that TK is on some drugs, don't listen to him, viewers. <laughs> okay, he left. I I'm wondering why he didn't leap us uh, the Oxus. Isn't the Oxus usually the lead? Um, the Oxus attack. Okay, let me try to join. I have to chat in the battle room at the same time. It doesn't. It doesn't work for some reason. So that's either like Scarf Zernius or um. Okay, aim picks up the Frostless. Curse body activates again. That's either um Scarf Zernius or uh, Geomancy. I don't think it would be Aromatherapy support that rest talks that. Oh yeah, of course they both have primal ground. I think it's on every team. Mm. There's probably some, maybe ice is water with ice beam to check settlements. Cause I mean, some settlements looking like a threat. What does this Gengar even run if it's hex? Probably does it run Risp? Oh, I'm not sure about Gengar with the drones. Okay, um, Xerneas comes hard out, so I assume it's like Scarf Xerneas and maybe Aim predicts the Dragon Lands. But Scarf Xerneas doesn't even outspeed. speed, but okay, he's maybe bulky, he eats that up. He has to be bulky to eat that up. That was lunch time. Yeah, I don't like the dimensions for this video because I don't have to chat in. Gonna have to uh, like render this. I'm sorry that you guys don't see the chat in this one. Um, I feel like Pokemon wins this match. I don't know Kax at all, but that was a plus one double edge, so this has to be defensive Xerneas. Unless I'm on some drugs and I'm missing something. <laughs> Why did TK like go insane in my recording at the beginning? Um. The Dialga or the ground is the rocker from a stunned part. It could. I had HP. A Pokemon. I just want to say I had HP eyes on Gar. What? Are they, is he talking about someone in the chat? Man, I'm confused. So it might be Rocks, Dialga, and like Double Dance. 
rock like double then speed on with rock polish as the Okay, so I did that. I got picks off the zonies with Flashkin. And. <clears throat> I guess he's going to grow on here. I wonder if, you, if Lunala runs like. I, th I saw Scar of Lunala, but. Yeah, Scarf Lunala actually makes sense on his team. I don't think he has another Scarf. Let me actually data Lunala. It's 97 speed. Oh, that, that thing has like huge HP and nice Shadow Shield ability. AKA fake multi scale. Actually, it's, it's actually better than multi-scale, I think, because I think Mold Breaker cannot break through that. Okay, it's Arceus ground. That also makes sense, then. Like, I thought he would go ground if he wasn't Arceus ground. But, yeah, he can just fire off, like, a judgment here. Or, oh, this could potentially be defog too. So, if he's, like, bulky, he could defog too. The spike, like, yeah, he like if he uh, defogs the spike away, never mind. He's just, I think he's offensive because he just occult the Dialga. Like Dialga is not, not a joke. That thing's bulky. Let me like data that thing too, because I have no idea about Uris. 100 HP, 100 speed death. Maybe this is like the modest Groudon Pokemon was using in life, not Groudon Arceus. He was uh, <laughs> using a really fun team in life. The other day with Tony Flag on, that was funny. We were using like a Sophist type of bull and Ubers. Yeah, I thought he might devoke there to get rid of the spike. So the Oxus attack fits Sash, it has its Sash intact. But uh, since Astana doesn't have a ground immunity, like Settlement already died, firing off a judgment was a fine play. I want to try to get the smog to chat activated for some reason. Yeah, it just won't let me. It will just switch back to the battle every time. Okay, so it's probably E killer. With like a life orb or some some other. Maybe Lumberry. A leftover, okay, that also works. That actually did nothing, that judgment. Is it like bulky? Bulky E killer. Aim can actually lose to this. He goes hard, Deoxys. Doesn't Deoxys just die to E speed? Well, why did no, he E speed there? I mean, Deoxys could have e-speeded the Arceus before the Arceus e-speeded it, but I don't think that would have done too, too much. Maybe he could have SD'd again there, but I really don't know about Ubers. I'm gonna like try to get someone with uh, knowledge about Ubers next time. If he's a fall play a Veltal and like bulky Veltal, he might go to that here. And if not, he probably has to go to... Either Willow with Gengar or maybe Fox Blast Gengar. But I assume he has Willow with Gengar because he has Hex. Or he might go to Pedon. But I assume he's going to Gengar or Eveltal. Yeah, he goes to Gengar. And, um. Pretty sure it's Willow with Gengar. Why, why does the Gengar sprite look so weird at the end? <laughs> at the end here. What does Hexgar even run? Does it run like a sludge bomb? 
Will o' Wisp. Focus Blast. Maybe some hidden power. I don't think the throne's perish so. Persian runs like protect and stuff. Focus Blast probably won't even kill it if he has Focus Blast, so I don't see why Aim like Aim is probably going for Whisper. I don't see why he wouldn't do that. Yeah. Shallow Claw kills the Gengar. Um, yeah, I feel like it's down at, well, if it's down at SD again, maybe. One turn, he went to Deoxys, he might have been in a good position. Now Goron eats this up. And we'll just fire off Precipice Blade, I think. Unless he doesn't want to miss any of, like, Earthquake. I'm actually kind of surprised that, um, like, Amos, Amos playing fine. <laughs> he said he will have refresh. Amos playing fine, um. Yeah, the precipice is played at over 50%, so as long as he doesn't miss, um. He cannot, like, recover stall this ground on. As, yeah, Amos just gets rid of that. that he seems to did a good chunk, but not that much. Yeah, what I wanted to say is, um, Amos playing, like, a lot of different tiers, and. I in my opinion, if he would focus more on one T, he would be like really good. The first two weeks, I think he lost both in um, yeah, Sun and Oyo. I mean, he also got a little bit unlucky with the game. In the game was Kratos Mana. I hope I didn't uh, butcher that name. I heard uh, Kratos Mana like he was like he doesn't like it if you don't pronounce his name right. Yeah, he, he only got like two water shuriken hits with his Greninja when he needed three with his Thermos. Or like, it was a roll with three, but still. So Astounded is probably like running a speedy Groudon and he's pretty... Never mind. Aims is faster and Aim misses. Okay, that sucks. Um, that, that probably wouldn't have all killed, but that still sucks. But yeah, Arceus Ground. Plus a Velta should win this game. He goes hard Lunala that does 18 only. Is that a bulky Lunala or is it... I think it's Scarf. Okay, this RC is gonna get 2 KO'd. And okay, man, did Aim actually lose because of that miss? Like, Aim can actually lose? No. Uh, I assume this is like Sucker Punch. I, um, I don't even... I, I never saw a U-turn on a vessel before. I saw like... Knock off Sucker Punch, uh, Oblivion Wing, Dark Pulse, or the, or the defensive set with Roost and Taunt, and Foul Play to beat uh, like Check Lab Menth and E Killer. But U Turn is like. Never saw that before. That's probably to, to, to support Gengar. Um, so you U Turn and then you trap something with Gengar. He doesn't go for Sucker Punch, he gets frozen. Okay, Pokemon sucks and Pokemon loses to Hex, it seems. Unless he goes for Sucker Punch and he thaws out. He's, is he Specs if Volta? What did he go for? Oblivion Wing then to get health back? Yeah, like, first he missed the Precipice Blades and now he got frozen. That sucks, like, Pokemon loses this, the Wolfpack are on the back. He still said GG though, like... That takes a lot to still say GG after that. Specs of Blue and Wing probably won the game, they're saying in the chat. Someone else is saying he had to flinch to win, but he had one if he hit. Precipice Blades. Well, let's see, uh, I started to hit GG out of respect. I mean, that was like really stupid. The Wolfpack are like already behind. They are like 0 and 2 in weeks. Like they lost, I think they lost the first two weeks. 
And yeah, in this series with Alpha Runas, they're like behind 3 0. And it's not looking too good for them. I think Blunder's playing later with Jinji, and ABR is playing tomorrow with Flame Vitini. This is gonna be hard for the Wolf Pack to come back, but we, we don't give up yet. Like, kinda like the Wolf Pack. I, I mean, I kinda like Pokemon and Flame Vitini, and they're on that team. But also, like, ABR and Blunder on the other teams. I'm fine with either one winning the week. I guess Runas have like a little bit, they have a better score at the moment so they have higher chances to reach playoffs but we shall see. Um, yeah, I don't want to make this too long, I thank you guys for watching. I wanted to put the lot on the thumbnail anyway so I'm kind of glad I did something but that freeze sucked. Um, I will see you with more SPL, probably some OU games next. Doc signing off, thank you guys for watching, peace out friends.